Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today is not my day. My makeup didn't turn out the way I wanted. It just is what it is. Today is a mess. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my Sephora wish list slash what's in my bag. So let's get into it. When it comes to what's in my bag, it's basically what's in my wish list. Cause I usually go back and forth because I'm so indecisive and these products are expensive. Let's start off with this Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. Y'all, this is so pretty. It's giving fall, like the green in here. Uh, it's so pretty. I love it. And I love that they show the eyeshadows on different skin tones. It looks so beautiful, sultry and buttery. Like I really love the shades in here. The shimmers are what excites me the most. I feel like I need it, but like it's $45. I know I spent more on an eyeshadow palette before, but like, I'm like, am I going to use it? You get a lot of variety with what you can create with this small palette. I'm looking, I did an all matte look in my last video and I was like, I'm kind of feeling it. So I can see like an all matte look I can do. I can see like using different shimmers, combining them. So I'm like, I think it might be worth it for me. I'm looking at the reviews. It looks so pretty. I think I might have to keep it in my bag. I think I might have to. It's the green. It's something about green eyeshadow, especially green shimmer. I don't know what it is. It's just like, it's calling me and it's so pretty, especially like this mustard gold green that they have. It's called Lavish. <sighs> Y'all, it looks so pretty. Yeah, I might have to get it. Mm. She gonna stay in a cart. Next up, we have the LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. I'm wearing one today. It's so pretty. This one that I've been wanting is the one in Empower, and they describe it as a deep berry plum. It looks so pretty. Something about this color, it's just like, mm, it's giving rich, muted. It looks so pretty for fall, but also for every day. I like these kind of blushes for every day. This is the one that I have with me. Like, look how pretty that is. And I'm wearing it today, like I said, beautiful. I just love the texture of it. The way that you can build this up. I love this color too, because it's more of like a, a muted color, but it still has some brightness to it. Look at that. And I love, I just, I don't know how to explain the way it feels. Like they said, it's satin, but it's matte at the same time. So I definitely want more shades in this. And of course the packaging, the packaging on this brand is so beautiful. I love it. I'm looking at the other shades. Coral Peach looks so pretty. And I love that they swatch it on different skin tones so you can see like, I love that. Ooh, number six, Self Love looks so good too. Like that one, it's just like a muted color. A little bit lighter than the one that I have. But yeah, Empower, it's like that fall color that I've been looking for. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. It kind of matches my lips here too. I just love these berry tones. Like I love it so much. Next we have the LYS. Is it LYS or LYS? I don't know. I don't know. I know it stands for love yourself, but anyways, I have the Speak Love Lip Liner Pencil. And specifically, like I said, these berry tones I have in the shade Deep Berry. It's something about it. And then I saw the swatch, I think. Yeah, it's in the shade Rise Above. Like look at it. It's the second one. Ooh. Look how beautiful it looks on her brown skin. Like, it's these berry tones. Like, it's these berry tones. And I've heard that these are really creamy. I'm excited. And they have castor oil and canadilia. I think that's how you say it. It's something about these berry tones. Like, they just go so well. And I don't have a lot of berry tones. I just bought this shade yesterday. She also has some dark browns, which I'm really leaning towards. And I love that they do swatches. This is a different shade, but I love that they do swatches on different skin tones, cause I'm trying to see. Yeah, I had this one harder too. Something about a dark brown lip liner. This is in the shade Devoted. Look at that. I love the way that looks. And these retail for $15. Oh, it says that they're plumping too. Okay, we'll have to see. They look, this color, Rise Above, the Deep Berry, it looks so good. And it seems like it's dark, but not too dark. So I love that. Next up, we have the Hourglass Scatter Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. And I know that they have more shades in these, but on Sephora's app, they only have three shades. On Ulta's website, I think they had like a dark green. Yeah, I saw it and I was like, I need to snag that up. But look at this, look at that. Look at that swatch on her eye, it's so reflective reflective and glittery. It looks so pretty. It has like a pink hue to it. I love that. Yeah. The bottom one, the green one right here says it's in vivid. Look how pretty that looks. Something about green. It's something about green lately that's just been like 
grabbing my attention. I want all the shades, literally. This one is cute too. Aura, look at that. That's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. But these do retail for $30, so I'm like, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, hopefully it's worth it if I do get one. All right, now we're moving on to something that I've been eyeing for it seems like 10 years at this point. It is the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Double Tape Cream and Powder Blush Duo. I've seen everybody raving about these and I'm just like, but do I have $38? Like, and I want almost all the shades. It comes in 12 shades and I'm like, ugh. And the shade that I have, or the one that I screenshot, is She's Wanted and it's a rich berry. Again with these berry tones, it's like, that's a thing for me, green and berry tones. But it looks so pretty. I love that it's dark, but it's not too dark. Like, look at the swatches. Look how beautiful it looks on different skin tones. I love it. <laughs> I've heard so many good things about these. I need to hurry up and get one. And I, I want more of like a muted tone too. And I kind of want, oh, she's different. But I'm like, I don't know. I think I want, she's vibrant, she's different, she's wanted, and she's a doll. I'm looking at the swatches here, just based on these swatches, they look so good. Now, when I get this paycheck, it's over with. Yeah, I think, cause, okay, so this one is in the shade she's giving. I think it's it's bright, but I think I can still make it work. I'm not good with super bright, like really bright blushes. I feel like I just be looking like a clown. And I also want like an orange one. This one is in she's the moment. I think that one's very pretty as well. Mm, Cause I love me some orange. I love me some orange. I might have to do it. I might have to. Yep, adding it to the, the wish list. And a lot of people have been saying that it's worth the $38. So I can't wait to test it out. All right, next up we have the Bosma foundation stick for hydrating vegetable coverage. I've heard really good things about this. I think I've only seen one review where somebody didn't like it but i've heard really good reviews and i have this in the shade 14. i don't know if this is gonna match we'll see it says tan skin with neutral undertones i feel like it will match but at the same time i never know but this thing is 40 dollars that is a lot i think that's the most i've ever spent on a foundation i can't tell i think 15 would also look good i think 15 because it's warm but it's still neutral it says but 14 might work do i look do we have the same skin tone? I can't tell. I, I don't know if we have the same skin tone. Do we? Do we? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it has some warmness to me, but like at the same time, I feel like I'm more neutral. I might have to try it. I might have to. I keep putting it in the car and then taking it out because I don't know. I'm like $40, that's a lot. But I'm like looking at the way it looks like before and after. It looks so pretty and skin-like. But still great coverage. I'm, I might have to. I think I, I think I like it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it in the cart. I've only tried one other foundation stick, and it was the Thread Beauty foundation stick, and that one was beautiful. Love it. All right, next up is another very expensive one, but one that I've heard so much about. It is the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter with Fermented Arnica. This thing is forty dollars. I have this in the shade Sunstone, and it's a pink gold. It looks absolutely beautiful and it comes in 10 shades which is good for a highlighter i don't think i've ever seen a highlighter come in 10 shades and their bronzer from house lab is like 12 shades i've never seen that i love that so much i think this one would go very well with my skin tone the other ones look a little dark for me the swatches oh my gosh it looks so smooth on their skin i have a lot of texture hopefully it'll look smooth wow these shades look so pretty they look amazing I wonder what they would look like on the eyes. It says it's talc free, it helps reduce redness, it brightens and smooths, it nourishes and softens, and it protects. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. Pink amethyst. Wait a minute. Wow, that is intense, but it's so pretty. See, this, this is what I love. I need to see it on different skin tones, okay? I love it. I love to see it. This looks really good. I'm probably gonna have to pick it up. I'm probably gonna have to. I like an intense highlighter. The most intense one I have that I've tried, I think, is the one from Rare Beauty. And I have it in the shade Flaunt. Y'all, this is like my favorite highlighter. I love the one from Milani, but this one is something about it. If I can open it. Like, look how beautiful it is. I love it to the moon and back. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that beautiful, mm-hmm. Every time I wear it, I'm like, she's the one. And it's just smooth, it's not glittery at all. The highlighter I'm wearing today is, the, what is it called? I think it's called the Bite Size Duo from e.l.f. I think that's what it's called. I have it in the shade Pomegranate. I love this highlighter as well. Like, look at that. Boom, glow, glow. I love this highlighter. It's also soft and wet and I love this shade on me. Look at that, I love it. I love it. A lot of people aren't into highlighters a lot anymore. I am, something about it, I don't know. I just, I love the glow that it gives. I love a good highlighter. I might have to get this one from House Labs, y'all. I might have to. Next up, we have the Kofi Main Match Crease Proof Long Wear Hydrating Concealer. It looks really good and it comes in 21 shades. I have it in the shade Koya Kisses and it's supposed to be tan with neutral undertones. I'm like, she's similar to me. I think this foundation I'm wearing is too dark, but I think that would be a nice brightening shade, but not like too bright. There's a lot of stuff in here. A Amla, Amula fruit extract. Never heard of that. Saffron flower extract, rose hip extract, licorice root extract. Okay. Now, I usually don't like hydrating concealers, ones that are so dewy and radiant that I don't know, it just, I don't like the way it looks under my eyes. I have one, I have this one from NYX that I've tried out and it wasn't my favorite. It's supposed to be hydrating and crease proof, I do think. It's a serum concealer, everybody loves this, but I don't know, it just does not wear well under my eyes and it creases, it just doesn't look good. This one is kind of the same thing, it's supposed to give medium coverage, hydrating, good for redness, good for dark circles, radiant finish. But I'm like, I don't have the best track record with hydrating stuff. Except for this Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. It has hyaluronic acid and it's hydrating. I recently just tested out in my last video. This wore so well and the coverage was amazing. So I'm like, it could either end up like the NYX one or it can end up like this one. So it sounds really good, but I'm like, I don't know at the same time. Y'all, I don't know. Yeah, this is another one that I was putting in and out of the cart because I truly didn't know. I like a pretty full coverage concealer because I do have dark circles. I'm like, I'm looking at the swatches on the models and I'm like, it looks really good. Hmm, let me know what y'all think about these products because I really wanna know. I need to get other opinions. All right, next up we have the Milk Makeup Mini Pore Eclipse Mattifying and Blurring Makeup Primer with Niacinamide. I watched Juicy Jazz, one of her older videos. I think it was a Shop My Stash. I'll link it down below if I can find it. She used this primer. Child, that thing was matte. I, and I love a dewy primer, but it's something about a matte primer that just wears the best on my skin. I love it. So I, I looked at it and I was like, I was watching it on her skin and I was like, I might need to pick that up. Child, the mini thing is $20. Like, why is that still so expensive for a mini? Like the regular size is 38. But if it works, child, I guess. And it says it's long wearing and good for your pores. Look at the swatches, look. Look at it. Like, child, it looks like that thing works. So I might have to, I might have to try it out. I might have to splurge. Okay, but it's saying, on the picture, it's saying that it's $18, but it's $20. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, don't do that. It looks really good. I have this L'Oreal primer that I still need to test out. I just got it the other day. So I might test this one out before I do the milk one. All right, now one that I'm so excited about is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Y'all, this thing is $70. And every time I look at it, I open the Sephora app, I look at it and I'm like, oh, this is pretty. And then I look at the price tag and I'm like, it's not that pretty. But at the same time, it looks really good. It looks really beautiful. I love the tones in here. I'm looking at all the different looks that you can create and I'm like, they look so different. So I love that. But at the same time, I wish there were more darker tones in the palette. If you take these darker shades away, you have six light ones, but then you only get four like matte shadows. There's two cream ones that are like, can be used as eyeliner or waterline liner, but you only have like four dark shades and I wish that there were more like deeper browns in there. 
I've seen a creator do a look on this and she has darker skin than me and it still looks very pretty. It didn't look ashy if I'm remembering correctly. I'll try to find that video too. So I'm like, I might need it. I might, but I'm like $70. You can do a lot with $70. But then it says 4.6 stars. Mm. I've heard nothing but good things about this palette, but I'm like, girl, $70? Like, I have a lot of warm tone palettes, and I only have a couple cool tone palettes. So I'm like, do I really need this? But it's so pretty at the same time. Like, every time I look at it, I'm like, I need it. But then I'm like, but you don't, girl. If you have this palette, let me know. Is it worth it? I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I, I really like it, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hmm. I have this cool tone palette from LA Girl. It is the Keep It Playful palette in Downplay. I love this palette. I use this today on my eyes and it's more cool tone. So I'm like, if I have this, do I really need that palette? Like, cause I really love the mattes in here. Like this is a foiled glitter y'all. And this palette is $10 and it is a foiled glitter. Let me show you, like, look, I mean, so I'm like, I don't think I need that palette, but at the same time, I really want it. And I'm not really like a cool tone person. Whenever I dabble into cool tones, I use this palette or the Cara Beauty palette. Let me see what it's called. It's the Cara Beauty Hello Honey palette. Like, look at this. I got this on sale at TJ Maxx, but it's still on their website. And child, this thing comes with a mirror. I've already tested this out and the LA Girl one out. But like, look at these tones. Like... Do I really need the Patrick Tall palette? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. So I might hold off on the Patrick Tall because I'm not really that into cool tones. But like, y'all, I keep saying it, but like, I really like the way it looks. Okay, the last product is new and is the LYS or LIS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Sticks. I am a sucker for blush. I love blush. And I love their cream blushes, so I'm excited to test these out. These are glowy. So, we're going to see how it looks on my skin. I'm definitely getting this. It's $20. The shade that I picked out is Unfazed. It's a berry plum, of course. But it look how it's so... The swatches. The swatches are absolutely divine. Like, I'm eating it up. Every time I look at these swatches, I'm like, yes. So I will try one shade, we'll see, maybe two. But we just gotta see how they're gonna wear cause they are a bit more glowy and then see if, like what happens when you set them down. Ooh, Elite looks good too. Like this one is an Elite. That looks so good too. Wait a minute. And so far on Sephora's app, it comes in five shades. All the shades look stunning. All of the shades look stunning. But I'm like, wait a minute. I, I don't think I've ever looked at like a cream blush or a powder blush even and been like, I need all the shades. But with this, I'm like, I need all seven shades. It says there's seven shades, but I only see five on the app, so I don't know why that is. But I think I might need all the shades. They're supposed to have green tea extract, watermelon seed extract, and rose hip oil in them. A lot of products have skincare in it nowadays. And I'm not mad about it. I have to watch reviews. I have a lot of other stuff on my wish list, but that was just what was in my bag. I didn't want this video to be too long. All right, you guys, that was all for today's video. I hope that you enjoy just sitting back and relaxing and talking about products that we might or might not get. But a lot of those products, they look good. Like They look really good. Let me know if you tried any of these products and if they're worth it or not. I would love to know your opinion. I hope this week has been good to you. I'm sending so much love and positivity your way. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!